Hi everyone, my name is Livansi Shala and I am currently pursuing my MSc at Assam Donbosco University. In this video, I'll be talking about Whitstone Bridge, principle behind Whitstone Bridge, its construction, working formula, derivation, and lastly, its application. Before that, we first need to know the definition of Whitstone Bridge. Whitstone Bridge is also known as the Ruston Bridge because it is used to measure accurately an unknown resistance by balancing two legs of bridge circuit, of which one leg includes the component of unknown resistance. It was invented by Samuel Hunter Christie in the year 1833, which was later popularized by Sir Charles Whitstone in 1843. Principle behind Whitstone Bridge the Whitstone Bridge works on the principle of null deflection, which says that the ratio of their resistance are equal and that no current should flow through the circuit. The bridge is said to be in a balanced condition when only no current flows through the galvanometer. This condition can be achieved by adjusting the known resistance and variable resistance. Construction of Whitstone Bridge a Whitstone bridge circuit consists of four arms, of which two arms consist of known resistance, while the other two consist of a variable resistance and an unknown resistance. The circuit also consists of a galvanometer and an electromotive force source. The EMF source is attached between point C A and C, while the galvanometer is connected between point C B and D. The current that flows through the galvanometer depends on the potential difference across it. Whitstone bridge formula and derivation. Now the formula used for Whitstone bridge is P by Q equal to R by S. Here S is the unknown resistance, P and Q are known resistance and R is the variable resistance. Knowing the value of the other three resistance, the value of the unknown resistance can be calculated. Now as we have discussed in the construction, in this figure, we see that there are four resistors connected in a parallelogram shape. P and Q are known resistor, R is the variable resistor, S is unknown resistor to be calculated. Now let us denote this point A, B, C and D. Now between point A e and C, EMF battery and the current switch is connected between point B and D, galvanometer G and the galvanometer switch is connected. Now, when the current switch is on, the total current delivered by the battery be I. Now, at junction A, the current I will be divided into two parts. I1 and I2. I1 passes through P and I2 passes through R. At junction B, the current I1 is again get divided into two parts. Some part of it will flow through Q and the other part of it will flow through the galvanometer G. Now when the galvanometer switch is on, let IG be the current passes through G, then I1 minus IG be the current passes through Q. At junction D, I2 and IG add up. So I2 plus IG is the current passes through S. Now from the figure, I2 plus IG plus I1 minus IG, we get I, cancelling both the IG. From here, we see that the sum of incoming current is equal to the sum of outgoing current, which is I. Hence, Kirchhoff current law is satisfied. Now applying the loop law in loop ABDA, applying KVL, we get the loop direction as shown in the figure. Now in region EB, I1 into P, here the sign is negative because the current direction and the loop direction is same. In region BD, IG into G, here the sign will again be negative because the loop direction and current direction is same. In region AD, I2 into R. Here we will get positive sign because the current direction and the loop direction are opposite, which is equal to zero. Let us say this is equation one. 
Now also in loop BC DB we also get. Now in region BC, I1 minus IG holding Q. Here the sign will be negative because current direction and loop direction is same. Now in region CD, I2 plus IG holding S. Here we will get positive sign because the current direction and the loop direction are opposite. Also in region BD, IG into G. Here again we will get positive sign because the current direction and the loop direction are opposite which is equal to 0. This is equation 2. Now as we have seen that Wheatstone Bridge follow the principle of null deflection which says that in balance condition the potential and B and D is same so there will be no current flowing between point B and D which mean IG equal to 0. Then putting IG equal to 0 in 1 and 2 we get minus I1P plus I2R equal to 0. That is I1P equal to I2R. This is equation 3. Now similarly we see that putting IG equal to 0 in equation 2 we get minus I1Q plus I2S equal to 0. That is I1Q equal to I2S equation 4. Now in dividing equation 3 and 4 we get P by Q equal to R by S which is the formula of Wheatstone bridge. Lastly, Wheatstone bridge application. Now the Wheatstone bridge is used for the precise measurement of low resistance. Wheatstone bridge are used in many electronic applications to measure changes in intensity of light. Wheatstone bridge applications are also used to sense electrical and mechanical quantities. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe.